Hello there, chap. Uh, Could you ask what your name is? Uh, Essentia becomes a civil aviation authority issue. Oh. I just confirmed that, no fly zone. And we're looking at the Hinkley power plant site. There's some police going past there. That was very well timed, wasn't it? Wow. <laughs> so what I've done is I've just actually taken the drone up before I got here today. Uh, just so that when they hassle me about it, it's already done, if you know what I mean. More cameras. And look at this camera they've got right up there. Keeping an eye out from above. Second time I've seen you. Second time you've seen me? Same place. No, not you, the car. Yeah, I was going to say, possibly. Uh, can you just ask what your name is, if you don't mind? That's a strange way to start a conversation, mate. I was going to say, I think because you're one of the auditor chaps that we possibly had around you before, isn't it? Haven't been here before. Oh, you haven't been here nope. before? Okay, so you said yeah, you have been stopped here before? No, 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 I just walked up here now. All right. Yeah, and you drove past. Yeah, because we... And I dropped something, so I walked back to get it. Ah, okay. And this is exactly where you just drove past, or another car did. Okay, cause today. We, yeah, because we've just had some reports earlier yep. of someone flying a drone quite close to site. Right. Was that you by any chance? Uh, I'm not going to comment on that, mate. Okay. The uh, drones are allowed off the site. Yeah, just the, so you... yeah of course. Uh, the only thing is, obviously, within a certain range of the site, we do have to investigate that and just have yeah, no problem. people flying the drone. So it is legal, but yeah, you want to just know what's going on. Yeah, and obviously it's one of those yeah. things that we, we have to have a little chat and just see what's going on. Really. I'll let you use your inclination whether yeah. it was me okay i won't comment on it yeah however i do have a drone on me okay all right i may or may not have been flying it off site okay that's absolutely fine can i just ask the weight of the drone uh 249 249 yes okay so it's under the you, you understand yeah, the air regulations 249 okay. yeah all right okay i yeah. made sure that if i was going to fly here yeah i would do it far enough off that appreciate it's not going to cause direct so you know what i'm saying yeah, right yeah i appreciate that yeah not okay. going to be an idiot and fly right yeah yeah yeah, because uh, obviously we've got sort of regulations that if you fly right. within certain distances of sites, uh, you can obviously be reported to the CAA for being in breach of air navigation regulations. What would that be under? Uh, Here? Or is it anywhere? Uh, it's anywhere. So it's the air navigation order. So it's... Uh, so you're talking generally? Yeah, generally. Right, got you, got you. Air, nav air navigation order. Uh, so essentially, if that was found to be a drone sort of flying over site, then we'd have to obviously report that further. Okay. Why would that be? Uh, essentially, it becomes a civil aviation authority issue. Uh, right. Again, has to be there's regulations with uh, regards to drones and flying drones within certain proximity of sites. Oh, you're like talking about the and, right, yeah, like yeah, yeah, airports and sort of nuclear protected sites and MOD yeah. sites and things like that. Okay. Yeah. So obviously, it's one of those where. So I know airports and prisons are obviously yeah. FRZ in any way. Yeah. Illegal to fly there, regardless yeah. of who you are, what you yeah. do. Uh, anywhere else is okay other than, uh, unless there's like a specific zone yeah for the geo most zone part, or yeah so for the most part uh if for instance there's gatherings things like that yeah there's obviously regulations with flying directly above sort of large gatherings and things like that is that not for certain size drones or <sighs> it is and it isn't again if a, if drone does yeah. come down 249 grams that falls in your head could be a bit of an issue can there got you um but yeah it, for the most part it's you don't actually drone. have a thing here do you like an, a special restriction as such it's so, just that if somebody does fly over, obviously it's over, for over, you going to be security issue, isn't it? So yeah, for oversight, essentially we've got a sort of range where if a drone flies within that site, that's not authorised to fly yeah, over yeah. that. Uh, again, when they what have, is that restrict? What is that um, distance? Off, off the top of my head, I, I can't put a number on it. Yeah. I have to refer to the actual list. He looks like he knows. That's high. That is. Yeah. A any drone can go to 400 feet. Uh, 120 meters is the maximum for a drone. Any drone, 400 foot. Yeah. Okay. I think it's a big aircraft. Which yeah. is the same height as your yellow crane here, believe it or not. 
Not going to say I how I know that. I, I just know, know that. that. Fair enough. I didn't <laughs> it's exactly know that. at that height. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Um, can I just ask what your intentions are today? Is it just to have a little? I'm going to walk around? up to that gate. Okay. I'm going to make a little video. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. I'm going to do. Um, would you be interested be in passing me any details? Definitely not interested in that. Okay. I think you know that, right? Uh, yeah. Well. <laughs> um, so okay. to be clear, there's no illegality of flying. If somebody flew over, what would happen? So Just the for the viewers is, to, to learn. So for us, essentially, we have to locate the drone pilot. Uh, there's regulations, so anything over 250 grams, that would have to be uh, the drone pilot would have to register with the CAA uh, yep. in respect to conducting the test, the drone pilot assessment, drone pilot testing. Uh, to comply with regulations to ensure that they aren't sort of in breach of those regulations. Yep. Uh, again, it has to be within line of sight, so this FPV stuff, uh, so where people put goggles on and they sort of fly off and they can't see, like, be flying sort of a kilometre down the road. Yeah. You don't have direct line of sight, it becomes an issue. Okay. Uh, again, with that regulation. That's anywhere, right? Uh, yeah. Not just, yeah. yeah. I, as, fa as far as I'm aware, that is anywhere uh, with the, the, the goggles stuff. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it's generally flying within proximity of... So if I took off here now, I'm not going to. Yeah. If I did, with a 249 gram drone, yeah. and I went straight up, yeah. and I went, let's say, over over the fence, but not over not over the important stuff, yeah. is that illegal here, or would it just be for you so an issue that you'd want to find out who it is? The issues that you would run into yep. would be, technically, you are flying on a nuclear license site. So I don't, when you walked up, did you see the blue lining in the road? No. So when you walk up by the zebra crossing, there yeah. is a blue line. Essentially, that is the barrier of our nuclear, nuclear license. Site. Okay. So if you were to launch that drone without authorization, without permission, on the site, that, right? Like you technically you're flying on site. Got you. So that would land you in a little bit of. Hot if water. someone took off outside of that, outside two four nine, went over a little bit, but not over the important stuff. Over that blue line. If the drone went over, not the person. Yeah, if you're talking about the drone going over that blue line. Technically, yes, say, let's say. So that would potentially incur those regulations. Those right. regulations would come into force. What would that be under? I'm not trying to catch you out. I'm genuinely interested because here so, comes up as restricted for helicopters landing and taking off on the helipads. Yeah. But there's no mention of drone. So the drone regulation, so it's Air Navigation Order Section no idea, mate. I'm literally head, learning a little bit off you here, but about the so site. Off the top yeah. of my head, so obviously <laughs> site isn't nuclear licensed as of yet. So there's no, oh, right. there's no nuclear material, because obviously it's, it's construction, isn't it? It's being constructed. Is it all construction? I thought maybe up here was still... So up here is still nuclear licensed site. Ah, we're talking this about is, this one. This is under construction. Got you. It's different okay. sites, is it? Yeah, but again, Got you. the issues come with if someone starts flying a drone over that, that site, because it's a construction site. Okay, do you have authorization in the first place to be uh, flying over that site? So it's legal there, but just would create a few questions for you guys to want to know. Probably say it's not necessarily legal because you'd oh. have to potentially be flying out of line of sight to get. Let's say it was in line of sight. In line of. Let's sight. say all, all the drone code was followed, but yeah. just is there anything protecting that site at the minute for a two four nine gram to go over the perimeter? I, I don't think there is. There probably isn't. However, don't, don't quote me on that because <laughs> I'd have to look up the regulations okay. and just confirm that. I've got you on camera now. You definitely. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm not I trying just, to catch just, you out. I just have to confirm that again. Yeah. I know a little bit about the air navigation order. I'd have to refer to it fully to be able to. Are you guys on site police? We are. Yeah, we are. Exactly. That's why I'm asking you because you're yeah. probably going to know more more than another copper. Yeah. What can and can't happen here? So, um, as far as yeah, as far as I'm aware, again, two four nine. In it's, hindsight, if I happen to have already flown from down there, yep. off-site, gone up, gone slightly over the perimeter fence down there and back. Oh. I did a lot of research on it. I yeah. don't think it's illegal at all, okay. but you're here, so I've asked you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, again, it would be something I'd prefer, obviously catching you at the time, I'd ask you to initially return the drone. Of course. Because part of it is Have to do that, it. right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I would ask you for some details, just to produce your identity, just so we can try and verify. Uh, I don't have scales on me, so I couldn't weigh your drone. Um, but again, there should be some reference to yeah. the weight of your drone. Uh, again, from that point, then it's having that discussion uh, with yeah. my higher ups and making that decision as to how we're going to proceed with that. I think you can inspect the drone, right? I think you can, can request to inspect drone, it yeah. and therefore yeah. take the weight of it from that, yeah. probably, if you can see it. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't so know if they've got... In, in your vehicle, is it? Uh, it's in the bag. Oh, yeah, I've right. walked quite far to get here today. What drone yeah. is it, if you don't mind me asking? Let me show you if you want. Yeah. yeah. Nothing to hide, mate. Okay, uh, DJI. DJI Pro 3. Okay. Mini, Mini 3. Yeah. 
What's the maximum range on those things? In terms of like away from you? Yeah. I don't know about that. Line of sight, so it, you can't really go too far, can you? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. So Weather dependent, but yeah. it's a bit hazy today, so to be fair, it's not the best yeah. for distance flying today, I would say. Yeah. Right. yeah, obviously, more for your awareness than anything. Don't want you getting yourself into trouble. See. That's why I've asked uh, you. It's a nuclear protected site. Um, but so yes. that one would be illegal. As soon as you cross that blue barrier, yeah. technically you're on a nuclear. Oh, so if someone site, took off here, then irregardless then, is yeah yeah, yeah, yeah got so, you. Because that that is essentially the boundary of our site. Yeah. Um, as far it's two, as it's it is two nautical miles. Just, What's that? I just confirmed that the no-fly zone with my side. It's two nautical. Oh, miles. on your radio. Yeah. Okay, got you. So yeah, I wasn't so sure you... about the fifteen hundred feet. Ah. Uh, I knew yeah. it's close, but. So here you're talking about the perimeter, here. Yeah. Got you. Yeah. yeah. See, when you look into that on the app, it says restricted for helicopters, landing and taking off on the helipad. Right. And the danger zone over the cove, yeah. or the water. Yeah. Forget the name of it, Bridgewater Cove, is it, or something? Or something. Yeah. It's a danger area for the yeah. water or something. Um, drones, there's no mention of it. Right. So I looked it up on the website about EGR zones, and it just said on there that it is, it's okay to fly. But obviously, if it's a protected site or prohibited site, mm. MOD, for example, you can't. Yeah. yeah. So we, we technically fall under that umbrella yeah. as a that sort of... Um, if it was licensed, site. right. So essentially the same sort of protections or the same sort of uh, MOD sort of sites, yeah. we have that same regulation because essentially it's a, it's a critical national yeah, 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 site. Yeah. Uh, so we fall under that same sort of uh, remit as an MOD site, so approaching an MOD site, flying on an MOD site, those sort of things. So I went to another nuclear site a while ago yep. and there were signs up saying protected site. Okay. And if you trespass, it's a criminal act, essentially. If you walk on there, they can arrest you for it. Trespassing on a nuclear license yeah. site, yeah. So here would be the same as that, I presume. Protected site. So, yeah, essentially, if, if it was to come over, that is yeah. that, that level of trespass. Again, when it comes to those air navigation orders, if it was a drone that was trespassing, it would start falling into that CAA sort of remit, I would imagine. Yeah. Um, but again, we would refer to our higher-ups just for a bit of clarity on that. So no protected sites, you can fly over them, but people say it's a stupid idea to fly over a nuclear site. Yeah. It is, it's yeah. not very reasonable, yeah. it's not very uh, responsible is the word I'm looking yeah. for. Yeah. So to go outside of the perimeter, yeah. zoom in from there, probably the safest thing for protected sites, I would guess. Yeah. Um, and that one's licensed now, isn't it? So presumably that's yeah, so higher security. Again, so obviously you've got B site, which is the, the, the current site, which we operate out of here. Um, that one? Site. Oh, oh, so you guys operate from yeah, the main? So we, we, operate, right. we operate from the site currently. Um, again, this one's <coughs> under construction, but where our boundary is, you sort of enter that fairly early on down there by right. the uh, zebra crossing as you're coming up. There. I didn't see the blue line, to be yeah, fair. If, on, your, on your walk back down that way, because obviously we saw you sort of cutting up that path there. Obviously, when you're walking down there, just be careful because obviously you've got buses and... Yeah, it's a dangerous road, down. though, isn't it? Yeah. Well, this Walked is all the way up and it's... There's no path at all. Yeah, you RTCs on there. Yeah. Are there? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so obviously, just be mindful walking down there. But when we saw you walking up, again, when you get to that sort of patch markings, you can see there's a blue line. So you should maybe have some more something there for people like myself that are maybe a bit more reckless than me. Would yeah. just turn up and launch a drone, yeah, and then get arrested for it. You know. I mean, potentially, it's not really. It's not for us to sort of. Add no, you just police, don't you? We just but police. We just go around doing. Things. Had I done that. It would be my fault because I'm the drone flyer, but yeah, you should you should have been more sort of aware in that instance. But yeah, but it isn't that easy to check. I've done a lot of research to do this today. Yeah, it didn't. Yeah, no, it, it's I quite a you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, I mean to be honest, the air navigation order it's not something that we we routinely sort of use. It's obviously if we encounter something, because every now and then you get sort of farmer sending up a drone to look at his field or whatever. But we do have to go and have a chat and. Just right. sort of see, obviously, within sort of the range of our um, the range of our site. Again, sometimes it can be quite hard to locate where they're from right. and where, where they're launching from. I've um, seen drone videos here online. That might be EDF that's done it. Uh, uh, obviously they do, possibly. Yeah, because they do. Or uh, the media. But they still follow the same rules, don't they? So they would have to get authorization. So if it was the media that was flying it, uh, say BBC came for commercial, is it that way? Commercial, they, they oh, have right. commercial drones. They get approval from uh, whoever it is that's part of their media and yeah. site sort of okay. team liaison. Um, but they would obviously have that authorization to take those flights because again, they're flying within a proximity of a nuclear license site at that point. Okay. Um, Good to know. But yeah, again, they're they're generally the the professional. 
Yeah. Big drones, very heavy, good camera equipment and stuff like that. I mean, if I'm ever unsure, I tend to stay back. Yeah. So... That, that would be the best just advice that I would say. Um, go up and stay you, yeah, there. Don't, don't land yourself in trouble. Just trying to like push the, push the boundaries. And How would you go... Not you specifically, but yeah. it, if you guys saw a video online of somebody, let's say, taking off here, yeah. blatantly on camera doing it, yeah. would you try and investigate that? Because I see a few Obviously, videos up that are a bit like... If we see it happening, we have a, a duty to investigate it. Um, outside of that, right, would just probably fall to out of the investigating departments to look into that. But they would do it, wouldn't they? They should do. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. Right. I mean, things pop up all the time from sort of auditors online and stuff like that, and there's always some sort of... Is there? I don't know if you've got the drone assist. Yes, that. that's what I use. So on there it's got yeah, yeah. a piece of airspace in effect between surface and 2,000 feet. Yeah, so if you go if you go to remarks on that, has it got remarks, remarks on there? A, oh, oh, it's a screenshot. Screenshot, yeah. yeah so, oh, Go. Go. Stockland, Stigazy, Hillstock. Go to view summaries and restrictions. So all these red zones have remarks. Yeah. So flight permitted for the purpose of landing or taking off at helicopter landing area. So that bit's all about helicopter related. And then here, permitted by a helicopter flying within the Bridgewater Bay danger area. Blah, blah, blah. Nothing about drones. Okay. So that usually mm. means that it doesn't affect drones. Yeah. But quite obviously, to any, pi any pilot, it's, it's a red zone. Yeah. It's a nuclear site. Yeah, yeah. Don't fly over because it's stupid. Yeah. Just yeah, don't do it. Yeah, you just you end up landing yourself in trouble and it's not worth it in those instances. And I get like obviously some people want to see it from the air and stuff like that. But yeah, the drone offers that. There's stuff online from the EDFs pumped out. Um, I get like obviously people come down to see sort of seaside being constructed and stuff. Um, so that's central London, right? Yeah. But if you're familiar with the EGR, that's EGR as well. Oh, sorry. That's EGR 160, the central London zone. It's called the specified area for the whole of central London. Yeah. But you see inside they have separate red blood zones. Yeah. If I click on that one, it says on there, except with written permission, a helicopter shall not fly over. So it's helicopters only that? Right. Okay. But there's no mention of drone. It just sort of says no helicopters unless. Yeah. But because it doesn't mention the drone, yeah. anyone can fly in central London. Not Hyde Park and not Regent's Park. Oh, yeah. They're the red circles. They're the red circles. Okay. Um, but initially you look at that and go, I can't fly there. Yeah. You can if you check what it says on there. Yeah. Um, it's for helicopters that basically engine fails. They have to yeah, be able to go yeah. away and from it says, people. Is yeah. it not that they have to have twin engines to be able to fly? Oh, I'm not sure about that. I, I want to say that they have to have twin engines as well, just because obviously there's redundancy. Safety. Yeah, there's redundancy right. if one of the engines goes down. Um, not sure about that one. As far as I'm aware. But, yeah. So when I checked that, that's what it said to me. Okay. Um, I looked at EGR zones and it said, go by remarks. Because um, initially I looked at it and thought, I can't fly there. Yeah. No point going. Yeah. Where um, did you come from? Quite far. Quite far? Quite far. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a YouTube have you channel. Done, have, you yeah, done, yeah. have you done much flying in London? Around? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit in London. Did a, did a bit yesterday, to be fair. Okay, fair. Yeah, the, uh, the old well. fire. You know, the fire. Okay. Police station fire in London. Must have heard about it. Forest Gate. Okay, was that was that recent then? Was that yesterday? Or? That was uh, what day was that? Wednesday, I think the fire was. Okay. Is it Wednesday? The whole police station burned down. Okay. okay. Massive. Not been part of yeah, yeah. Can you see it? Uh -huh. It's quite a quite a big thing. Yeah, it's a uh, but forest. There you go. Should. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh wow. Okay. So, yeah, the whole, the, the whole, that it's worse than that. Well, yeah, it's come down a bit and it's all the whole, oh, wow. it's gone. Yeah, so, <laughs> did a little video on the cleanup. They're still hosing it down and stuff. Okay. So, um, that's a London drone. Yeah. It was all right. Yeah, cool. but, um, yeah, so yeah, obviously it's more having a chat, awareness, something. Um, but yeah, obviously designated sites, there are those regulations for a reason. Obviously to ensure that, you know, that safety of the area generally yeah yeah um, and generally with those sites you do need authorization so mod sites yeah, mod yeah you do don't you um but these fall under that category of that protected site there's a new law isn't there with mod sites now regarding filming Are you aware of that no 2023 uh, so you know before you could film them from public land yeah, yeah. you still can yeah but now there's a law on it saying that if you do it with ill intention 
So pretty much if a terrorist attack happened yeah. from one of your videos, yeah, you you're in serious trouble. Line, yeah. Whereas before, nothing could happen. Yeah. So kind of it's on us now, if we go and film it from outside and go and audit the uh, army soldiers, yeah. post that online, you, put yeah. it online, yeah. Yeah. if an attack happens and the police yeah. decide that it may have been from your video, yeah. is it worth the risk? Does that make you feel going forward then? I haven't done any since. Have you not? No, <laughs> no. I did a few MOD, didn't yeah. do many. But from that, I just thought... It's not worth the risk. Well, to be honest, because it would yeah. probably, we would probably fall under that same remit, just from the fact that obviously this site is a protected site, same sort of yeah. characteristics as a MOD site. So it has to be prohibited, officially prohibited, okay. under the Secrets Act 2023. Okay. Normally there's all the big signs up saying prohibited area, Secret act, if you trespass, blah, 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 you'll be liable for arrest. Okay, fair. Um, I think, anyway, I'm just... That. No, I that's what I know of it. You can understand if a random person walked past and filmed it, yeah. and then got nicked for it, they'd be like, well, yeah, yeah, why yeah, can't I, I film it? That. Kind of thing, but... Yeah. So you've got no drone signs up here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Do you get many people droning? It's mainly the farmers that we've seen occasionally. Not many auditors or that kind of people? I, we've had auditors. Have you? But none that I'm aware of with drones. Okay. Um, that I've, I've sort of come across when I've been on shift. Um, but yeah, the only time I've dealt with sort of drones and that has been uh, bombs. Right. Yeah, so. But it's just having a chat to them because generally they're just surveying their fields and maybe lost a path or something like that. They're just trying to find it. Oh, right. But yeah. What's that noise? You could tell me. I don't know. Coming from your site. Just wondered what's is it? <laughs> is there know. a machine going on there? Is it or is it? Possibly, I don't know. Uh, uh, it might actually be the power lines. They're, oh. they're the transformers. transformers. There's quite a lot in there. Yeah, yeah. Going out, presumably yeah. to the country. Yeah. So, That's cool. Anyway. All right, guys. Thanks for the information. It's good. That's all right. Can I just ask how long you're potentially going to be in the area? Obviously, we do patrol, so don't keep in. Maybe a week. A week. <laughs> <laughs> Might bump into us a couple of times, but yeah, again, okay, no, I appreciate I've got a long walk off site, I've parked right, 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 right off site. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I, I, think, I think golf, yeah, yeah. I think we... lay by. No, <laughs> no, it's okay. it's okay. I'm not, I'm not that close. Where no. are you talking? There's a lay by in between the two roundabouts, the black, I think it's a black golf. Are Don't, you, are you okay? no, no, okay. no, oh, okay. you checked it out there, haven't you? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> You're a police officer, of course you have. <laughs> you probably went the first time, did that. Drive back. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Let's stop him. But, He's smiling. He knows. <laughs> he knows. Caught him out. Yeah. No, I appreciate that. Um, obviously. It may or may not be. May or may not be. Yeah. No, I'm going to go up there. Yeah. Twenty minute video. Okay. Who's up there? Is it worth going? Uh, whereabouts are you talking about? As far as you can walk the gate. Is there a gate? So, obviously you've got A and B site uh, down there, um, but again. It, when you start, if you start sort of going into places you shouldn't be going into, it will become a bit of an issue, but you can probably walk down if you want. It's not a lot down there. Is there not a security gate with the hut? You'll see the sign there is. The yeah. state are licensed yeah. sites, yeah. but it's obviously got public access yeah. to the car park there. Yeah. Ah, um, I'll have a quick look at that. Yeah. yeah. I'll go. Obviously, it's, it's one of those. This has been informative for my video, yeah, mate, yeah, so no, it'd be good. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate yeah. that. Um, but yeah, obviously, just be aware, stop causing a nuisance and we no climbing over? Definitely well, not that yeah, one. <laughs> the response might you can be get an arrest then. The, re well, the response yeah. might be slightly different to that. You can get an arrest then. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so I mean, obviously we're about. So. Do you get many arrests on, on this site? Does your job involve not money? No. It's just more secure in the site, I guess. This is it. Our job essentially is part of our job to deter, isn't it? Prevention rather than, uh, yeah. Great. Um, I'm not going to hold you up too much more. Do you, are you willing to pass me any details? <laughs> Name, address, date of birth. I, I'm only asking. He's probably already got it. No. Okay, that's, that's absolutely <laughs> Your fine. face then. He knows. That's all right. He knows. Absolutely fine. Okay, um, in that case, we'll let you go on. Great. Um, obviously, walking back down the road, just be mindful. Oh, will, yeah. See large vehicles and stuff moving. Because they've just had a, a large uh, item come down the road as well. So Quite bad, that road. If bit, you're walking on it? Yeah, yeah. So obviously just be careful. Obviously, I don't know how long wait you said you're gonna be here for that. Not long, minutes, mate. So don't after dark it can get a bit sketchy on that road walking down there, so just be mindful of that. Nah, I'll be about twenty minutes to be fair. That's all right. All right. Places to go, you know. That's it. <laughs> all right. Bye guys. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Anything to do. <laughs> he knows. 
See you later, guys. Worry, Take care, man. man. Cheers. <laughs> funny, funny police, eh? You see, that's why I did the drone flight first. Because the drone is back in the bag, safe. And they have no grounds to look at it. Anything. Not that I've got anything to hide. I got the drone out and showed him anyway. But that's what I forgot to ask him. How, who, who told him that I flew the drone? Because I did, I did fly it very conspicuously on the sly. But uh, yeah, that's why I did it first, everybody. Because now, had they trumped up some law that I've broken, which I know I haven't, but had they trumped up something and gone, oh, well, we believe you to be, you know, X, Y, Z, I couldn't argue too much because the drone would be in the air, right? But because I've landed the drone and the drone's back in the bag and they haven't seen me flying the drone, I was able to ask them in depth and in detail whether flying from where I flew from was legal. Now, I know it is, but I wanted to see whether they were going to try and say it wasn't legal. And I do feel from his response that had the drone been up in the air at the time, he would have tried to say I've broken something. But I, I haven't. So that was a really good idea. Definitely the way I did it was the way forward. Uh, I may well put the drone footage after or before this, not sure. So we're going to have a little walk up. EDF Hink Pointly B. Boundary of nuclear licensed site. Now I thought he said it was down there. Have you notified security that you were here? If not, please refer to the display board in the car park. Well, that's a nature trail, public nature trail. Let's have a little walk up, have a little nosy, and we'll, uh, we'll go. And I parked my car way off site, and they still drove past it at some point and linked it to me. <laughs> But maybe it wasn't my car they saw. Who knows, yeah? Some noise coming out of this place. So, yeah, I'm quite happy I got the drone up. Because once you spoke to police and then you do the drone after, they can always come back and try and put something on you. You know? But I think we did a quite an informative little flight. We didn't really go over the side much. Just the car park area, really. Nothing, uh, nothing too exciting. So, so that Nuclear Installations Act 1965. Nuclear site boundary. Very interesting, this, this area. But the police are now no doubt going to warn the gate. There's an auditor and they've spoke to him. I'm sure I recognise that copper. The one who didn't talk as much, that one. I'm sure I recognise him from a previous video somewhere. Where did we see him? Was it in the Bristol? Uh, MOD site. I don't know, I recognise his face. Friendly character, you know. But he also looked a little bit like the Avon and Somerset headquarters guy who escorted me off. Look at this here. Got a security uh, electric fence up. Got a big ass camera there, look at that. Big ass camera there. 11,000 volts in there. Damn. 
but apparently this has public access because there's a car park. I mean, presumably it's for people that work here though. I mean, if I walk past this area and there's somebody in there, I can't imagine they're going to let me walk through because I don't work here, right? Pedestrians, this, this way. All right, let's cross over them. Do we think the police are going to come back? Do we think that they got my registration but didn't check it and now they're going to check it and they're going to come back again? Hmm, I wonder. Oh, nuclear safety. Oh, there's no one in there. It's a bit suspect, isn't it, that... Uh, I've had a strange, weird feeling in my body since being on this site, like some kind of uh, radiation. It doesn't look very secure, does it, look? Straight through. Ah, there's a gate down here. There's a gate being mended down here. What are they doing to that? Yeah, I reckon, I reckon the police are going to come back and they're going to try and uh, put something on me again. Red light. Because those two seem to know a little bit about the drone laws, but I reckon they're going to be checking it now. Let's see what they come back with. And what are they doing here? Secure us. It's a big spanner in there, isn't it? Ah, fluid solutions look. Interpump fluid solutions by IMM Hydraulics. Presumably for that look. Damn, it's big. There's a secure gating. Look at the warning sign on here, everyone. Explosives. You can't bring any explosives on, camera, transmitters, radioactive material. Yeah, I'll just bring an explosive on site and some radioactive material because it's that easy to get hold of. <laughs> just realised they've got a massive crane holding that up, look. Security gatehouse. Response level is heightened here. Got some cables going underwater, there, underground there. What's going on with that, mate? Do you not talk, buddy? What's going on with the barrier? What's going on with the barrier? The bollard? You fixing it or is it broke or what's happened to it? Are you trying to get in? No, just interested. I'm videoing the site today. Oh, right. I just saw it up, so yeah, it's unusual. No idea, You've got no idea? Okay, cool. That's all you have to say, buddy. Cheers for that. No idea what's happening. Hmm. But then he does work for Securitas, so that's probably why. Got a G4S guy there as well. No G4S are employed to do nuclear security. Oh, no drone zone. Oh, yeah, mate, you all right, eh? you right? Help. Just reading your sign. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of them all the way up round through, as you know. At the moment, though, you're currently on private property. There is signs just up by the gate that you might have missed. Yeah, I must have missed them, mate, because the yeah. police told me that it's publicly accessible up until the gatehouse. Yeah, that one up there, because this is a completely different site to that one. To which one, sorry? To B Station, which you've just been down on. 
I've been spoken to the boy police just up there. No, so you've walk, I've walked down. Yep. That that gatehouse right there yep. is not manned and it's open. Right, okay. So I walked through those gates and came to here. Right. Which is the active gatehouse that they told me about. Not the right gatehouse. This is a separate site. So the guys you probably spoke to probably meant their gatehouse down there. Maybe. So I think mean, this bit here, I can show you where the bits are. Back on, mate. Yeah, if you yeah. pull it pop back up this way. What's going on with the barrier? They wouldn't tell me. Just standard works. <laughs> yeah, it's just a bit of odd works. That's all. Looks like a big, we, big we, work, weekend yeah. works. It's a sign. So yeah, if you just want to pop up this way, I'll show you. Show so, yeah, 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 no yeah. worries. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you go first because I'll stand this side. Okay. All right. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know where I'm going, do I? No, 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 yeah. we're going, sorry. There we go. Straight back up to exactly where you've just come from. Yeah. All oh, right. There's a YouTube. So I can see that. Yeah, I can yeah. see that the gates open there. Can yeah. I go through there or? No, you cannot. No, oh, no right. that's why there's barriers there. And key thing. Try not to cross barriers where you can. All right. <laughs> so generally, work out your safety. I presume you guys can't remove that to fix it. Does it have to stay in for security reasons? Well, generally, yeah. You know, um, as you can see. <laughs> it's it's, pretty, it's now, a pretty big so beast, isn't it? Well, a case of having to, you know, but yeah, if you'd like to follow me on up, I'll just show you where these are. Uh... What happened to it? Did somebody try and ram it? Or... Oh, no, no. Have you ever had anybody try and drive in and hit it? Or... Not whilst I've been here, maybe no. before my time. Right. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> I, I can't comment on previous things. Um... G4S have the nuclear contract, don't they? Oh, they have a fair few different contracts. Um, I thought G4S you know, were the main security that got it. It's, it's quite a lot of, well, G4S have a lot of contracts all over the place, quite, you know, globally known. Um, but, but I think nuclear-wise, they, they secured the contract for the I, security I of the got nuclear. they a fair, fair few um, areas. Yeah. I know, um, obviously... The one yeah. in Oxford, yeah. Hanwell, yeah. they've got that one. Yeah. Um, I don't know if further up you go somewhere else, it might have somebody else. Huh. So, right, there's a couple of signs, but I'll just take you up through. Yeah, the right, show, show me the sign will be good, buddy. There should be one, in fact. If I show you these ones first, and then we'll go to those ones there, and I'll show you where the separation is. So the policeman just said, walk down, walk down, there's, you know, there's access, and then you'll get to a gatehouse where security are. Yeah. And that's you. Almost. <laughs> Very much. Well, you are security, right? There's a slight, slight <laughs> difference, because there's different sites. Same as you've got a C site here, A site, B site. So, so what's that big building there where you're... That, that's your place, right? That big thing? No, that's B site. Oh, right. That's B right. site. See, it's different so what, sites. So, so what are you guarding then? So as you can see, you're leaving the Hinkley Point A nuclear license site and entering Hinkley Point B. The guys you spoke to, who man this one, come under B. Right. So that is... How do you know they, that, that, section that they meant B? There. Well, we had a phone call. So we know where it come from. Oh, right. <laughs> So, yeah, so they guided me down to you and they said no, to you no, that no, I'm coming down, right? Not guiding us down, what it meant is this gatehouse here yeah. matches up with this side. This fence separates. It's not very side. clear, is it? I mean, I, I get there's a sign there. Yep. A. But to a person that doesn't yeah. know A, B, or C, Stay in. Side. I wasn't told to go to A or B. No, 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 I, I appreciate that part of it. So I, I can't comment on the others. <laughs> and it's the same as up here. We're now leaving. Point B. How far down there is it? A, a fair bit of a walk, if I'm honest. Um, I'll you show don't you probably going, are you? Like, no oh, it's a protected is, site here, then. Yes, that's what I say. This bit, the fence protected. For us. I'll show you around the other side, yeah. just so you've got some clarity. And if anybody else for any other. No, that's all right. I mean, how, how far down there is it? I might not go down, mate. To be fair. I know you're going to try and put me off and say it's miles away, but... I wouldn't say it's a mile away, but... It can't be that far, can it's, it? it? It's a fair old stretch. It's further than where we are, Right. <laughs> so, yeah. It's one of those, especially if you're walking this way anyway. Do you get a lot of people coming on and trespassing? Obviously, people who, you know, might want to come do an audit and things right. like that. Yeah. There might be a few interests, you know, for public... Have you had a few? ...information. Uh, yeah, a few, something like yourself. Have you? Um, but again, obviously... Have they ever had a drone? Uh, people do try. Do they? Um, but obviously, because, as you can see, it being a nuclear, it is actually against the door once it goes past, because it is a lawful part. I'll show you the sign. Do you know what, though? I don't think here is illegal because it's protected. On taking the drone oversight, there is a part of... Is there? Yeah. Can you, can you remember, do you know which part it is? I'm not trying to catch you out. No, no, off the top of my head. I know it's on the side, it says here at the bottom, but... Because prohibited sites under the Secrets Act 2023, yeah. the new one, for MOD stuff, the extras. Yeah. that's pro prohibited. 
That's if it's prohibited, you can't. Yes. Protected, that's you that's can, that's but it's a bad idea. Prohibited. That's what we're under. It's when the it said protected on there. Oh, no, that one says prohibited over there. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you the big the story back. in a moment. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So as you can see again, we're now leaving B. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Hello. Um, so just more for your information. So when we were having a chat about obviously the restricted areas, we were saying yeah, about yeah, go on. two, uh, two, two point two five uh, nautical miles. Essentially, we've had a look on on our systems, and you were within that, so you were in breach of their navigation order. However, on this occasion, but gonna reading the remarks of that zone, yeah. it's for helicopters. Okay, so because this is one of the protected sites, we fall under that category of similar to an airport, essentially. Um, so in that instance, obviously, it's more for your advice and your knowledge in future when you are flying. The boundary does take you out to near Stigurzi. Okay, okay so sure. obviously that two nautical miles is quite a significant distance. I know how big the zone is because yeah. he showed me on the, on the app anyway, but yeah. if you look on there, there's two, but that's the main one we're in, yeah. right? So I clicked that before I came up, I did yeah. some research on it. It's an EGR. And FRZ is prison and airport. Okay. FRZ is no no. Yeah. Doesn't matter who you are. Yeah. Um, okay. View some restrictions. Yeah. Remarks. Yeah. Flight permitted for the purpose of landing or taking off at the helicopter landing area, blah, yeah. blah, blah. And the second part, where is it? Flight permitted by, by a helicopter flying within the Bridgewater Bay danger area yeah. with permission of the person in charge of the area. Yeah. When they don't mention drone. Yeah doesn't involve a drone yeah so, so i did might, check that you might you might want to just have a little bit of a look about protected sites so about around airports uh, mod sites and uh, critical national infrastructure because the rules are slightly different around so that. critical national infrastructure for example like a power station yeah that's okay but again it's a bad idea yeah so it's but, illegal but it's a bad idea yeah, to do so it so obviously with what we've just had a look it's more for your information just to not get yourself in trouble when you're no I'm, I, I don't want to come across like yeah, i don't no, 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 listen I to you I, I, know, yeah. I did a lot of research yeah. before i did it because yeah. i knew that had you turned up while i was doing it yeah and had i been breaking any yeah, law yeah, yeah. you'd yeah. have me for it right yeah, and my that, viewers yeah. i can't upload a video where i'm yeah, doing yeah, that because i look really bad yeah right so i had to check everything yeah and to me it looked Legal. Yeah, yeah, no, I appreciate it. Going that. over the boundaries, a bit of a silly idea. Yeah, yeah. Here or that one. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think it's breaking any uh, air navigation orders. I don't so think it is, it mate. Has, it's only when we've been looking on our system just yeah, because yeah. of the distance, because of the nautical mile distance, because it goes as the crow flies. So obviously. As what, sorry? As, sort of as the crow flies with that nautical mile. Oh, so gotcha. Do you mean like? As in like a straight line. So from the centre point, so as a straight line out that two nautical mile distance. There's a big red circle that we're talking about that one, right? That's yeah, that's sort of as the crow flies that got you in that right. Um, but yeah, just for your awareness. All oh, right. Yeah. See, I knew I was in there. Yeah. But I'd done the research as to yeah. whether I could or not first. Yeah. It's it's purely because it's obviously a nuclear license site. We have that same sort of regulations as um, okay. The same protections as MOD sites. Are you saying that you believe that I possibly? You, you might have just, obviously, from where we've looked on our maps, you might have yeah. just been within that boundary. Yeah. Um, so Let's just, say somebody was. Yeah. Are you saying that that technically would be breaking, you think it would be breaking something? You might, you might have right. been in contravention then. Got you. So, obviously, we didn't witness it, so we can only go off here, say, um, and obviously, it's more for your own advice. I appreciate you coming back to, yeah, I, I said on my camera, yeah, yeah, no, I bet those police come back. <laughs> I don't know why, I just thought they're going to come back and yeah. try and... It was, it was just we're getting a little bit more clarity because it's quite hard, obviously, because the way sort of our site perimeters and stuff and the, the sort of reach of our, our systems and that, we can obviously check within a little bit of a high degree of accuracy yeah. in some instances. So obviously we just referred that up and just had a little look and it looks like you might have just been within the boundary. Just, um, just in that red circle? Just within that red circle. Um, but yeah, so obviously it's more for your awareness than anything. Obviously, we didn't see anything, so we can't sort of... It's hearsay for us. I don't know, you know. I, d I did a lot of research on it. Yeah. So it, it's more it's more for your information, more for your awareness. In future, no, I really I appreciate you coming no. back and being, yeah. being... You could come back and yeah. try and... Yeah. You it's, know. And the, the thing is, I think with our system, it's all for where they decided where the centre of the site is. But here's not prohibited. No, not here, sorry. Yeah. Back yours, the other side. Yeah, yeah. The, the, that one there. Yeah. That's not... Prohibited. Where they, where they talk about that sort of like ring that radius. Yes. Sort of covers part of that site anyway because of the the sort of radius of incursion. But that so red circle's not it's not restricted though, is it? So I'm saying is it, it's, but it's it's going off this a central point with on our side. So that's where that radius comes from. So they take like a central point and they would expand that out. So I'm saying the whole of that red circle. Yeah. Let's say just for a stupid reason, I took off just off the land. Yeah. 
but I flew straight over the main centre point of that. Yeah. Or here. I don't think I'm there. It's illegal. I don't think it's illegal. Yeah, it's. I think it would be a stupid idea, and oh, you're yeah. probably going to come oh, out and want the, yeah, yeah. Yeah. the drone grounded, yeah, yeah. and yeah. you're going to be within your rights yeah. to maybe inspect the drone then and go, yeah, look, yeah. we want to check it's all legal. Yeah. yeah. No, I appreciate that. Um, I don't know whether it'd be illegal or not, though. I'm, I'm honest, I don't. It, it would probably be one of those ones where we would obviously refer up if we could be doing it in that instance and go, what would you like us to do in this instance? Um, but yeah, obviously. Just be intrigued to know what they come back with, not with me, just with anybody. Yeah, you know, I, because I, to be honest, I don't know because I've not had to do it as far as as far as the issue with being incursion or an incursion on site. Um, mm. So yeah, um, but it's one of those. Uh, I'm going to yeah, go back and do a bit more research. Yeah, on it. it's, it's more for your knowledge, and obviously it was a bit of a experience for us as well. Just because if you put that. flying drones over nuclear sites into Google, yeah. get loads of hits coming up. Yeah. And if you go into the forums, yeah. there's people on there saying it's technically fine, but it shouldn't be fine. Like, yeah. why can't the UK have something where it stops drones going over these sites? Because people that do it for the wrong reasons, potentially it's a stupid thing to be able to do. Yeah. Anyone could come here now, if terrorists could come and fly over there, within reason, couldn't they? Yeah. And you turn up, but it might be too late. And this is it. And the, but obviously this is why we, if we see something or we encounter something, we have a chat, we figure out what's going on. Yeah. Because um, anybody could do that, couldn't they? And it would yeah, be a little bit of a, a breach, yeah. really. I mean... Yeah. Uh, but again, you've been really compliant. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine, mate. Issues. Yeah. We've had the chat. Um, it's just a YouTube, yeah, isn't it, for me? Yeah, but it's, it's, it's just a bit of information. Obviously, there's a brush up for us as well on our air navigation order. Um, so just confirming some things as well. So. I think it'd be a good idea if all the police who work on this site look up the all the drone stuff really like in depth. Oh, 100%. I don't know a lot of, you know, I know what I need to know. Yeah, yeah. But there are people that know far more than me. Yeah, yeah, and, um, 100%. Yeah. A lot of the police I encounter, not you guys, but normal civil yeah. police, they don't really have a clue on the drone law. Most yeah. of them don't. Yeah. And now with it being more common, this is it. I think they need to turn up. Because what yeah. one guy turned up in, in Burton, you may have seen the video, and um, straight away get the drone down now he kicked yeah, off yeah. and everything it's fully legal at the time it's just yeah. a police station yeah um and he looked silly yeah, yeah, had he yeah. came out and gone oh you're perfectly within your right yeah let me just check the drone please yeah. which i've had as well yeah he looked professional yeah police I'm force sure. do well yeah, yeah. in in the public eye so and this is it it's, it's all about that level of engagement isn't it so it's a new thing isn't it drones fairly exactly. new yeah. so it's um but yeah it's more for information i appreciate uh, you coming back to like yeah 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 because obviously we just had to get a little bit of like clarity on sort of where where that expanse is and it's it's like right you you're almost like right on the boundary so it's hard to say whether you were in or out but it's one of those i think i was in but i think i believe i was legal yeah okay so more for information. <laughs> so as far, what, what, he's just listening. Just, like, just on the boundary, like what, what, what we've had <laughs> back so far is essentially that boundary extends out to about Stagurzy. Similar to. Not airport. sure where Guernsey is from here, but. Stagurzy. Oh, so I don't know what that is either. The nearest village to here. <laughs> okay. And that's sort of where that that sort of two nautical miles sort of ends in that instance. Um, so yeah. What I did, or let's say, what I would advise somebody to do if they were to do what I've done today. Yeah is they came just inside the perimeter, tested it, yeah. checked everything out, and then I walked up yeah. and, and did, did my possible flight I did. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't just come on. Yeah, yeah, well, no, not I, on, I on, but I appreciate you've done your research before you've, you've come and approached sites and that. Um, but yeah. Obviously. They're taking a lot of the geo zones off, haven't they now? D DGI. Have you heard about that? No, I don't know much yeah, about they've, that. Yeah, you know the geo zones that you can't fly onto? Well, couldn't fly onto. Yeah. They're taking them off down to the, the user now to be responsible. I think that's probably because the legislation's come in or the, right. the navigation order because I don't know. I don't know. That, uh, I haven't gone anywhere that's yeah. had one but yeah so it's not something I'd probably want to check out. But you'll out. get some idiot won't you with a drone that will just fly in there and People, well, you, you know. Get, no, you've been brilliant but yeah. Yeah thanks mate. Yeah. I just want to show that side. You know, yeah carry on. This one's a prohibited one. Oh yeah, let me show you, you guys. I don't know. He's going to show me yeah, a prohibited yeah, no, sign. Yeah, of course, of course. Give me a second. I'll just. All right, we're going to be off anyway. Okay, thanks for your time, guys. All right. Um, I'm going to go now anyway. Yeah, more for your awareness than anything. Um, I knew he was going to check. I could tell. <laughs> I could tell when you two left. I could tell that he was going to go. Let me check that. I could. Yeah. Which car? Huh? Which car? <laughs> Lamborghinis are quite quick. <laughs> you didn't see the Lambo, did you? I parked that off site. <laughs> 520 BHP. Well hidden that side. 520, 520, yeah. Like that chip? Yeah, it's stage yeah. three tune. Turbo and everything on it. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Oh, it's rapid, isn't it? Very quick.
But our wheel spin. In Mexico. Right? Four wheel drive. Four wheel drive, yeah. Obviously up to 60, right? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. Same as you guys. I recognise you. Have I met you before? I said on my camera when I left, I said I recognised that guy that didn't talk as much as that one. You. No, yeah, you didn't work in Bristol MOD? No. Went there about a year ago and there was a copper come out. Looks a bit like you. No, if you, you recognise, yeah. So. How have you? Do you know what? The nuclear police are always, they're all right, they are usually. Civil and. Actually, yeah. yeah. With the normal police, you get hit and miss, you get good ones and you get, I'm sure you've seen them, yeah. rude ones and arrogant ones and. Whatever you guys always seem to be relatively all right and sound and fair, so maybe because you're higher trained, what you deal with, possibly, or no, so no, you always seem to be calmer and deal with it on a level rather than I think every policeman would say that, but when they turn up and there's a drone up, sometimes they go, they go mad, you know, yeah, get that down now. You haven't seen the video? Yeah. It went a bit viral, that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's, he's in plain clothes. Yeah. I'll have to have a uh, It's called uh, Get the Drone Down Now and Give Me ID. Okay. Yeah, get people. the Drone Down Now and Give Me Your ID. That, yeah. <laughs> Funny yeah. guy, man. Um, anyway, go back to it. Yeah, no worries. I'm done, so. It's alright. No worries, dude. Thank all you very right. much, guys. Yeah, just show me the sign. Yeah, I'm yeah, going to yeah, be yeah, done anyway. So you know like, yeah. I think they were about a minute ago. Those two are funny <coughs> guys, man. Yeah, they were pretty alright, actually, weren't they, guys? There you go, riveted, and there's a rival prosecution. But, obviously. This area is strictly prohibited. That's just speaking in English terms, it's prohibited to go on there. Yes. But a, an official prohibited site would, make, would be on this, this kind of sign. Which we have all, and it, all around the extension. And, of it, and it would say, this is a prohibited site under section blah blah blah. Protected. Protected, this one. Nice. Which means drones legally, as I was saying to him. But again, it's that. Uh, airspace of awkwardness it doesn't matter it's oh it's okay but if anybody flies over your site actually over it they're an idiot that's a complete that's and, and they deserve to have the drone reason. taken off them I'm, I'm sure as time will go on the whole drone license things will become a little bit clearer won't they but like you said it's a new thing a new tool yeah it's a bit, it can be hazy in times like you said about the two nautical miles will be just inside radius so what i was trying, trying to say to him yeah, no, right you, you've been it, there's a two mile zone here, four miles in total, right? Yeah, in the center, for, all together. That zone is okay to fly in, be it if I flew from public land over your site, it would be a stupid idea. It's a nuclear site. That's where it comes. It's stupid, but legally, there's nothing stopping a flyer doing that. This is it, I think until something develops. It needs to change more, because yeah, until there's a clarification. people can just fly over and it, it, it creates an issue for you guys. This is it. It's the awkwardness of, isn't it? But no, you've been absolutely brilliant. Like I said, you know, we've yeah. been more senior footage from where you were. When I flew, I didn't show him, but when, when I flew, I stayed pretty much out of the sight. Yeah, yeah. The drone did. It went over a little bit. Over that one, not over Boy. this one. Yeah. The, the, that one's being built, isn't it? So there's nothing there yet. Um, but it's that. So it's definitely in the red circle, but I, I did my research and it was it was legal no, to do it. No, no, yeah. I mean, like I said, you know, you, you done all good, you know, had a little look, seen where it's what and whatnot. I mean, even he was saying, he said, you can see that you're just there, whether you're just in, just out. It was in. Oh. He's, he's taking him with a pinch of salt, all right? So That's where we are. Yeah, and I'm going to say you were just over there, weren't you? No, it was kind of been far away. It would have been in, in here oh, somewhere. I was you on the far side, was you? Would have been, I don't know where that is, but it would have been somewhere in there, wouldn't it? Right, in that direction. I thought you meant that you were further out. No, it wouldn't have been out here. Well, I mean, I thought you were... No, that's two miles away, two kilometres. I thought you were down on the beach side. That's when he clocked you. Oh, no. <laughs> they, did, they didn't see me flying it. They had a report. Yeah, fair. Well... But um, you've no, you've been it, it is legal to go over the full red circle, but if you're going to go over the sensitive areas, it, 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 as a drone flyer, it's not that good. Hazy bit kicks in, then doesn't it? Um, it's, it's not hazy, but well, it should be illegal, but it's not. That's where that hazy. So you can understand why in. they're concerned yeah, about somebody oh. possibly flying over, because if the drone failed on, on a critical area, one, you've got to get it back somehow, got it out, you know. Uh, yeah. Well, and two, that's not always, uh, it probably isn't going to cause an issue, but. You don't know that. It may do. It's the knock-on effects of everything else that can occur afterwards. You'd be locked down for a full day. What YouTube do you do then? Is it, you got a YouTube oh, you got your new pad out for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all up for information and, you know, learning and everything else. So, you know, it's, it's always handy. I don't give my channel out, mate. No, I'll write it down, but I won't say it out loud. No, no, but I don't give it oh, out to people. Oh, right, fair enough. All do right. you know why? Like, you've been sound. Yeah, yeah, no, no, Sometimes people put complaints in about the videos after right, the guys. Okay. Ah, all right, then. 
you may watch it and just think, oh, I don't want to be on the video. No, no, we were doing a job like I said. I mean, no, you've been compliant, you know, you came back out. Where yeah, were yeah, the yeah, signs? Yeah, yeah. Before these guys turned up. You should be with the police. The radio. Not even they are. Oh, they did ask I, me for the I, channel. I, I enjoy doing this a lot more, you know. Security is a lot more fun. You get to be a bit more is attractive. It? Yeah. yeah. What, what, what I'll say is, you'll probably see the video. Okay. Yeah, no reason. The all. channel's big enough that you'll probably, if you watch a bit of YouTube, you'll, yeah, yeah, you'll yeah, see I, it. I, 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 you know, you'll I'll see it. it. A bit, a bit confused, stuff. it's still a bit old, like, you know, but uh, you'll find it. Yeah, no, 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 that's jumping and all, right, mate. Yeah, no, I'm done here anyway, so we'll uh, I'll let you crack on before the uh, weather can change. Seems they found my car, oh, I parked it miles away. <laughs> you got your walking boots ready? That, that second copper, I said to him, I guarantee you already know where my car is, and he was like, You can tell he knew straight off, yeah, fair enough, way all the way down the main road, way off, way off for that reason. Take it easy. Have Hello. a nice afternoon. Yeah, thanks, thanks mate. Being compliant, you know, being nice and, you know. That's right. Just easy going about it, you know. Obviously, I say, you know, show you the boundary yeah. lines and everything. Just you know, prohibited is different than protected. And you've done your own work on your but area. It, it, it should be illegal. I'm sure the rules will develop and be more clarified on what as time goes on. Yeah. You know what new things are like. It takes a little bit of readjustment to go yeah. through things, doesn't it? But best of luck with all Yeah, thanks, mate. Do, mate all right? Have a good day. Cheers, man. All right, we're done, we're done, we're done. We're going. I knew those police would come back. I knew they'd come back. Quite funny as well, that one. <laughs> yeah. See, that's why, one, I did the drone flight first, and two, that's why I stayed pretty much back. Just showed a little bit of the building works going on on the other site. Didn't come anywhere near this site, which is obviously live and active nuclear for EDF. That's why, because it's a silly idea. And even though it's not illegal. It's such an area where a lot of cops aren't sure. You'd end up getting yourself into a little bit of uh, bother and inconvenience, I think, if you were to just be a bit silly about it. So that's it, guys. We're parked miles away, so we're going to have to walk to the car now. And it seems to me he's uh, definitely gone back and done a little registration check on that car, even though I'm probably parked about a mile away from where I am now. But that's their job, isn't it? They, they drive up and down this site every day. They're going to know any car off the site nearby that they're going to then recognise it. So did their job well. <clears throat> Thanks for watching, guys. We're now leaving the licensed nuclear site, so share, like and subscribe and I'll catch you on another video.